Hello YouTube! I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have a forgotten kaiju movie all the way from Taiwan. The movie is called King of Snake from 1984. I should start off the review by saying that I'm not the biggest kaiju fan out there. Not that I have anything against all the Godzilla, Gamera movies and stuff like that. I have just never been big into the genre, so if you are expecting an expert talking here, then that's not what you're going to get. Anyways, the monster in King of Snake is, of course, a big ass snake. The snake was found by a little girl named Ting Ting when it was just an itty bitty snake. Ting Ting got fond of the little thing and brought it home with her and gave it the name Mosler. <laughs> At the same time, a big scientific military experiment called R-19 has gone bad. While the main scientist is trying to develop something that can potentially solve world hunger, the military has other ideas for what this science can be used for. The arguments are put on hold, however, when a group of terrorists come in guns blazing to steal the R-19 formula. Before you know it, the formula is lost and ends up in the hands of little Ting Ting and her pet snake, Mosler. This formula makes Mosler grow into a monster size. And due to Ting Ting's relationship with it, the terrorists now focus on kidnapping her and make her tell them where the R-19 formula is hidden. Mosler has loyalty however and does not let a city of people and military stop him from attempting to save Ting Ting. King of Snake contains pretty much everything I would expect from a kaiju film from that time era. You have someone fucking with nature, causing the monster itself to innocently become a threat to humankind, you have the ulterior motives of the military, the child that gets attached to the monster and so on. What I felt was different about this than some of the other kaiju films that went for a more family oriented entertainment was that for once I actually didn't hate the kid. In fact, Ting Ting's relationship with the snake is actually one of the best parts of the film. It's silly and fun when two of them goof around, playing hide and seek and whatnot. While most films have a guy in a suit as the monster, that's not something you really do with a giant snake. And I thought they handled the creature effects quite well. It won't fool you into thinking that this is a real snake, of course, but it's better than what I expected, and I've seen plenty of worse giant movie snakes than this child friendly reptile. Oh, and I know that snakes are supposed to send sound, but I never knew that they could understand the human language, or give out a roar, for that matter. <laughs> The biggest problem with King of Snake is all the scenes that did not have the giant snake in it. All the scientists, military and terrorist scenes are just bland and boring. Every time I went from a scene with Ting Ting and Snake to the other stuff, my interest just started to wander away. It is not uncommon for these types of films to have a boring subplot, as it would be hard to produce 90 minutes of monster action at the time, but there must be better ways to keep people engaged than these uninspired story plots. I should note that this film does have some surprisingly violent action scenes all of a sudden, that feels out of place due to the tone of the rest of the film. But I am not a guy to say no to some bloody action, so I did appreciate it. I also want to touch upon the music, as it must have been taken from some other movies. It's not a single song that I seem to recognize, but several, so I don't know if they just straight up lifted the music from other movies, or if it was just close enough to something I heard before. <laughs> Like so many other films like this, King of Snake felt uneven to me. I couldn't care less about any scenes regarding the scientist or the R-19 formula, but the scenes with the creature was pretty cool. I expected something way worse, so while I won't say it's a good film, I'm still now happy that I've seen it. If you are into Asian kaiju films, then I would think that you would find this even more enjoyable than what I did, so it might be worth hunting down if that's the genre for you. I mean, it's an easy film to judge if you would enjoy or not just by watching the video clips here alone. King of Snake gets a 2.5 out of 5. Has anyone else seen this film? From what I know, it's not out on either DVD or Blu-ray anywhere, 
so it's not an easy film to hunt down. Speaking of which, this definitively deserves to get a good home media treatment, and I'm sure there are fans enough out there for this stuff that it would be worth the time of doing the release. I also want to mention that big parts of King of Snake was re-edited into a new film called Thunder of Gigantic Serpent by none other than the copy-paste maestro Godfrey Ho in 1988. Are there any other unknown kaiju films that more people should check out? Tell the rest of the world in the comment section below, like, subscribe and all of that stuff, and hope to see you again for more weird, forgotten movie reviews here on Cinema Terror.